What is up YouTube, welcome to another episode and this is the start of a brand new series called Gem or Junk where I go and take the current team of the week, look for a player that is mainly a discard player or extremely cheap and show you guys if this um, player is worth picking up or just one of those players that you just discard and avoid. First player in this series is going to be Magne Holseth. He's a centre mid, uh, he's left footed and plays for Moldy FK in the Tipper League and League. He is Norwegian and um, I converted him from centre mid to a cam um, but I think you could put him maybe to CDM, he's got around 60 odd defending um, as you can see from the player information he has got high attacking and high defensive work rate 3 star weak foot, 4 star skills and 6 foot 1 which is a bonus having uh, someone of that height in a cam position which I converted into is wonderful 74 acceleration, 71 strength um, and 95 agility is really good to see so what I'm going to show you in these upcoming clips um, is show a couple of the um, stats and the increases that this guy has had and uh, my opinion on him if he is good or not. So uh, right off the bat you can kind of tell he does run a little bit weird. He's only got I think on the card 70 pace um, but his agility which is around 95 and his 4 star skills feel amazing. Uh, literally amazing like I was gobsmacked uh, a player of that pace having that you know um, of the, that skill base and um, feeling that quick on the ball is great to see another clip he comes back and defends which shows his high high attack and work rate only downside for this is his uh, fitness goes very quick he, is, he gets um, the most tired out of any other players on this squad Nice little goal there from um, from Joseph, and he did score a couple goals for me, which I'll um, probably show later on or mention later on. Um, that was a finesse finish, but that is definitely not his key attribute in this uh, game. Uh, this is where he thrives, um, ghosting in from the cam position with his left foot, and he has got a ripper of a shot. I think his not, uh, shot power is around 94 or more, and um, that's an increase. Um, of around 14 or so and that's insane everything that he's been in increased in is basically shot power finishing and long shots and free kicks um, as you can see right to tackle he actually feels really nimble on the ball um, he's kind of one of those weird players sometimes he feels you know like um, quite sluggish and quite slow um, you know in the general play not when you have and control the play he feels extremely quick um, or you know deceivingly quick and uh, this is just showing a few of um, I think the long shots are coming up in a second to show um, his stats uh, from that um, his uh, long shots I think have been increased to around 95 and his shot power as I said has gone to around 80 plus and this definitely is shown in his um, in the clips right there he has a monster of a shot and especially if you put him on the right side of a cam he cuts in on his left foot it is wonderful to see so and um, this is one of the goals that I liked um, a team goal literally route one like Stoke and um, with the four star skills I think with the flare trait as well I'm not sure 100% if you need that nice little scoop chip and that's the, st the sort of goals you can get with him um, he's not just a, a guy that scores power goals he can s score nice delicate goals as well and um, a unlucky shot right there and look at just the way I can skill with him look I'm not a skiller but uh, the strength as well holds off the player has a power shot and um, actually it was one of the weaker shots he's had um, this guy is just amazing to use in this game holds off players his skills feel amazing to use I can't get over how good his skills feel and this is just uh, just a tidy tidy finish from Josef don't know why ran through the net but um, I would recommend you guys go and pick this guy up as I said earlier his long um, his uh, finesse shot isn't the strongest point of him and that um, is definitely true he misses everyone for me pretty much but if you can get his normal shot and get him close range like that he will score some nice goals for you and um, talking of goals I think um, he's played around nine games for me and he scored around seven goals which for a cam is a lot for me this is another um, showcase of his strength as well just barges the player off gets in front and using the power the keeper has no chance Josef picking up another goal this guy is highly highly recommended if you have a tip of league and league go and buy this player 
Um, he is cheap, and um, hopefully you can get him in, my, in your formation. He is worth every penny. His pace can be one of those you might love him, you might hate him. Uh, but in my 4 triple two formation, he worked for me. And I can't stress how much I'm incredibly impressed by this player. I thought this player was going to be a discard player. But this is a guy I am actually going to keep. And hopefully you are going to look out for this player as well. Definitely one you should check out before he goes out of packs. And um, he might become even more expensive. I would recommend him to convert him to cam. Um, I think that's a perfect for, for, uh, position for him. But I think he's got around 64 defending. So um, he wouldn't be too bad at CDM if you want to put him there. Or if you play run in a formation with centre mid, he'll be perfect there with the high, high work rate. Only downside is his pace. Um, sometimes it is a little bit sluggish. And his stamina is uh, quite annoying because after a couple of games, his fitness is the lowest out of all of them. But hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Please do give it a like and do check out the links for link on this player and to my Twitch and my Twitter. It'd be um, much appreciated if you can follow me on Twitter. And um, do like the video. It really does help. And I will see you again in another episode. Peace.